Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm been up since 5 a.m. A few minutes to six, and I've just been laying in bed like watching a few videos or like scrolling on TikTok because I had the brightest idea that on the days where I um well, now that I'm gonna be working at night, it's like in the mornings I want to wake up at like a good time, even though that was not my choice this morning. My body literally just woke me up at that time because it's acclimated to waking up at that time for the last two weeks. I said I wanted to wake up early and still be productive and then go to sleep later on in the day. It's so far so good. The only reason I got up just now was because my alarm went off to take my vitamins and I said since I'm gonna get up to take the vitamins, I might as well just eat something. So I had a little corned beef sandwich and took my vitamins and there isn't really much around here to do because when I was home I made sure that I was using the time to like keep everything nice and clean so I'm just chilling for the most part I think I'm gonna go to sleep at around four maybe five and I have to wake up at nine because I think my coworker will be here at 9 30 but I also want to make a little sandwich before I go to sleep later on so that or maybe I'll make but I'm not gonna take anything with me I don't know so that when I go to work, I will have like a little sandwich if I need it. I don't know if I'm gonna need it yet, but just in case I do. Um, yeah, I literally have maybe, excuse me. I think I have about four days left of this orientation. And when I say four days, I mean four nights. Today's Wednesday. One, two, three. Yes, absolutely. Because next Wednesday, my schedule said that I may start working independently. So, um, yeah. And that is supposed to be the night shift. So, we'll have to see how that goes. But, um, yeah. Tonight, I'm going to the ICU. And... I'm really excited to see how that works and like how it differs from like the rest of the floors that I've been on so far but for the most part that's all that we got going on right now. So guys it's currently 4.02 and I'm about to go to sleep for this night shift so I have everything laid out. My bra is right there my underwear is just next to the bed here so I'm about to sleep. Guys it's currently 8.43 and my coworker just called me and said that she's on her way and at this point <laughs> I'm gonna have to take the train because there's no way I'm going to be going so early. She's saying that like at night it's hard for her to see. But now you have company. There's no reason for us to be there. Two hours early. And I'm I'm the person who always wants to be early. But two hours early is extremely early. And I'm not. I could be getting an extra hour or 45 minutes of sleep. I cannot. I, I can't. So I'm going to go tonight because I'm already ready. And like we already spoke about it. But I, I can't. Because my other friend goes later than this. And she finds parking easily. I, I refuse. I'm on break for an hour and a half. Not really tired, but. And I tried seeing if I could sleep, but that's not really going anywhere. So I'm just here. My break ends at 3 30. just left work and we're in brooklyn driving up a street only to see a man drop in the middle of the street and my co-worker went to go see what's wrong with him she's under the impression that somebody stabbed him i didn't see that i just saw him fall out of nowhere but she went to look but me i'm afraid because i'm not with the crackhead festivities so if it's some crackhead shit then i don't want to be a part of that but she went to go see if he's okay crazy we ended up having to go around too because he, um, she didn't know she would have enough space to drive past him. You guys, yesterday too, I tried sleeping and that just did not work out. I went to bed at four and I woke up at five and I could not go back to sleep. So the entire time I was just up, but I'm not going to lie. After I bought that coffee with a shot of espresso, it was pretty much good. I didn't, um... I didn't feel sleepy throughout the entire shift, mainly because the shift really just kept me going. Like we were on our feet the entire time. But I felt like if I had to work another shift today, I would have been completely fine. Like it was not bad at all. But maybe it's the unit that I was on too. 
what's the ICU so the care wasn't too much successfully made it through night shift and I'm so tired and I feel like the shift ended pretty quickly because I felt like I was just getting ready to go but I'm so freaking tired it's not even a joke so I'm literally <laughs> go sleep to see if I can replenish the sleep that I didn't get but I bought um uh chai latte with a shot of espresso and I feel like that was the only thing keeping me awake I felt like I was wired at one point but now it's I'm crashing back I'm here early about 30 minutes early and I'm waiting for my preceptor who's gonna be floated because stopping is bad this is what they said <laughs> making me a little bit antsy because imagine the nights I'm gonna have if stopping is bad at night especially on the weekends it seems but I'm praying you'll have a good night tonight with Miss Catherine. So for now, I guess I just wait for her to come in this locker room. It's currently 4 a.m. and I'm on my break. I have about 30 minutes left on my break. And then I have to return to the floor. But I feel like I like that this break is like later. Because once I get back to the floor, then we're going to do vitals and basically be done with the day. But so far, so good. Because I slept this afternoon, I feel like I'm pretty good and have my coffee, which I just drank the last of so that like lasted me throughout the time which is amazing so grateful and my coffee was strong but I don't feel tired ended up doing a one-to-one -one. and god it was, it was brutal I'll tell you that <laughs> not that great but he definitely kept us up sometimes with the one-to-ones like you fall asleep because they're sleeping and it's night shift but this one he definitely made us work for this money tonight but for the most part, we're almost there. Three hours to go, or two hours and 30 minutes, basically. 